So let's say you are a medical student, a doctor, a nurse, or even a physician's assistant. You could even be an EKG technician. Chances are if you worked in a hospital, you came across an EKG. Now let's be honest here. We are all intimidated by EKG, and yet it's so important. In these series of videos, I will put down everything I know about EKG. EKG really stands for electrocardiogram. The cardio is not with the C, it's really with the K. But as you know, medicine is nothing without convention. So conventionally, it's EKG with the K, but in reality, cardio is spelled with the C. So both the terms EKG or ECG, both of them are correct. So now let's talk about the good stuff. What really happens in an EKG? What do we really see? What we really see in an EKG is the electrical activity of the heart. Yes, there is electricity in the heart and that electricity creates activity inside the heart and that's what we see in an EKG. More specifically, EKG gives us information about cardiac muscle contraction. It also gives us information about the rate, the rhythm, and different activities of the heart, whether it's physiologic or pathologic. So we really cannot talk about the pathology unless we talk about the physiologic conditions first. So let's talk about physiology, starting from resting membrane potential. So when the cardiac muscle is resting, why only talk about cardiac muscle? When any muscle is resting, the, the muscle or the inside of the muscle is going to be negatively charged. When a positive wave of charges move across the heart, we call it depolarization. This depolarization or this positive wave of charges moving across the cardiac muscle causes the cardiac muscle to have a contraction. And that's when the cardiac muscle moves. 